Hey, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to unbox and take a closer look at a guitar from IYV. It's the IP350, a PRS clone. Let's take a closer look. This is exactly how it arrived at my door, purchased on Amazon. Plastic bag, Allen wrench. And that's it. Okay, definitely not packed up as secure as um, I would prefer they be shipped, but so far it looks like it made it in one piece. Let's take a look. There it is. The IYV IP350 TBK PRS solid body electric guitar trans black. Um, now Amazon is both as well as the uh, manufacturer's website are really short on specs, but they list the body as mahogany and that's about it. The color is transparent black, although it sometimes looks green to me in pictures. Uh, the top is very nice. I believe it is a, a genuine veneer. Uh, it's a nice looking string through design. The bridge is a fixed two pneumatic style with uh, plenty of room to move up and down. So no issues uh, insulating the guitar either. It has one volume, one tone, and a three-way switch. And both the volumes and tones have really nice sweeps to them throughout the rotation. So there's no sudden off or sudden on. Now the inside of the cavity I took a peek uh, is actually painted with shielding paint. I checked it with a meter. It is definitely conductive. Now, the fretboard, I'm not sure, but I believe it's Jatoba, which is a Brazilian cherry, and I sort of took that for some online feedback that I found. The nut looks like bone, but it's not. It's plastic. Um, it was slotted pretty well. I did lower a couple slots just to my personal preference, but it was acceptable as it was. Now, the tuners are the same that ship on every inexpensive guitar, and these ones are not good, uh, so these are going to have to be replaced. Um, the frets came pre-tarnished. And I also saw this as a con on some Amazon reviews. Now there was no sprout or sharp edges at all, so that's fine, but they were tarnished. And given the way the guitar was stored, um, I can understand that. Now the neck is very wide and has a very flat radius. Now I won't swear by the accuracy of my gauges, but it measures 14 at the third fret and 16 through the 12th and remainder. Now the neck is 42.8 millimeters wide at the nut and 52.8 millimeters wide at the 12th and 57.7 at the 24th. Yeah, there's 24 frets. Now on to the pickups. Now they are four wire pickups, so if you ever want to split them in the future, you can. Now just for some comparison purposes, the resistance the neck pickup measures in at 9.35 while the bridge was 14.1. Now compared to my Firefly Les Paul, the neck is 7.53 and the bridge is 9.65, and that's quite a difference. And the only reason I took the measurements was I just wanted to see if my eyes could hear what my ears were hearing. Because these pickups definitely sound different. They are heavy, they are dark, they growl, they're almost kind of muddy and they definitely have some bite. Now when I put it, this guitar on my pedal board, uh, I found myself I had to boost all the high ends and trebles just to get a tone that I'm familiar with. <laughs>
all in all, it's a fantastic guitar. Now, just to summarize my thoughts on the IP350 PRS style guitar, well, to start, it's a beautiful guitar. Now, there's a few finish flaws, only very minor. The neck is flat, it's wide, has easy access right up to the 24th fret. The guitar feels high quality to me. I mean, and little touches like shielding the cavity go a long way, in my opinion. Now, out of the box, it played well. Uh, no complaints there. It did benefit from a little bit of additional setup. All I did was change a couple intonation points on a couple strings and lowered the bridge just to get the action to where I like it. Now, like I said about the pickups, they are fat, really deep, really growly. And with four wires, you can do some splitting if you ever want to put a push-pull pot in this thing uh, to, to split them for additional tones if you ever wanted. Well, hey, I want to thank you for watching today and making it this far in the video. I really do appreciate it. If you don't mind, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, that really helps out. I'll put links to this guitar and anything else that I've used in this video in the description down below. Those are affiliate links. They do help the channel out, and I do appreciate it. So until next time, be safe and peace.